is in the bag, or stock is attached. Head is mad at black, got the boost is black and mad. Ride it on a horse, ha, you can whip your horse. Can't nobody tell me nothing. No, I don't. Hey folks, Kelly and Oler, Epic Adventure. Me and the, my boys are out doing a little bass fishing on Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. 63 degrees on the water temp. Get it off here quick. There you go. Good job. Showing some fish clear out here on the bottom. We're in nine feet. Oh, big old junk. Are you cranking in? Yeah. This is like a bundle of sticks or something. Oh, is it? I don't know. Well, pull it up in the air. Because obviously it's not moving. Has it got any fight on it? I don't know. Let me try to swing us around here. See if it's out here. Let me get across it and and hold on, don't come up any higher. You'll get wrapped up in mine. Okay, get her tight. None like last. I mean, look, I can move it. How you can? What do you got? I don't know. <laughs> Is it a fish? Are you hung? I think I'm hung on some kind of bundle of sticks. Well, bring it here. Let me see it. Here. Come here, son. Walk. <laughs> um. Well, why isn't that cranking up? There you go. Who is it? I don't know. It might be. <sighs> Just a little ding. Not a little dang.
Miss Billy's all about eight feet. Even though she's a green. What? Yeah, I don't care. Put on something else. Hold time. Put on something else. And we're coming up on seven foot, a lot of moss in here. Six foot. He's about a five, six foot diving crankbait. When she gets hung up like that a lot of times, you can just pat the butt of your rod. That would come right off. Yeah. You can see these lay downs in the water. These bass are just sitting right on them. Some of them are probably still on the spawn. I don't know, 63 degrees on the water temp. They've been done spawn. I'm sure there's a few more that hasn't. That's why I use a crankbait, search bait. See where you can find them. Once you find them, you go back to the worm or else runs a little slower jig jig and pig Just a minute. There, coming up, coming up, coming up. Get him. There you go. Good My shot. God, Dad. Good shot. Good shot. <sighs> yeah, we'll have to. That's a decent size. Yeah, about two and a half, maybe three. That's a keeper. That's got to be a keeper. Come back here. Where do you think you're going? You're going to be supper. Oh, yeah. Here, hold that tail right there. All right, move your hand for a minute. Are you there, folks? About 16 and a quarter. That's a pretty good little bass right there now. Yeah. Oh, that would be a good one. Wow. Oh. All right, folks. Well, um, we came up the side. Now I'm going to switch baits. Go back through those where those spots were that we found the fish. And uh, run my little purple worm through there. And that's a really good bait. So we know they're they're biting. We know roughly where they're at. So now let's go catch the rest of them. Hey, where'd those scissors go?
All right. And when you're worming, you know, this is a, it's a crankbait rod, but what I like about it is that uh, backbone on it. It's good for hook sets. It's, uh, yeah, where'd she go? Out of seven, six and a half, seven foot. So let's swing around here. This time we'll let the wind push us and won't have to fight the wind. The only thing about doing that, depending on the strength of the wind, it's gonna make it a challenge. Keep her off the bank. see that I don't know if you see that loop on my line or not With this much wind it's awful hard to fish like this to keep contact the best thing you can do see how I run that line my finger underneath that line so I can feel the tension on it that kind of ups your odds getting a good hook set A lot of guys will go with bigger, bigger weight. I don't, I don't do that. You know, keep all the crap off of it. You can. She dropped it. Well, maybe not. Ah, damn it. Pulled it right out. And in spring like this, when you're working from the bank out, um, you're going along there and if you start feeling a bunch of tiny little bumps a lot of times that's the nest and what you're hitting is that tiny little rock that they put on their nest but you can see how discolored this water is up here from the waves they've just been pound in that bank just give her plenty of slack let her get down to the bottom then you can start working it through There's a real good lay down up there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right here. That's a real good lay down. It's what's called a lay down with that log that's laid down on the edge of the water. I'm gonna bass like to lay beside that thing. And... Damn it, missed him. Ain't 
And you sure know you had a bite when all that's all crunched up down like that. I just missed him. So go back there, reset your hook, make sure you got everything straight, and get her again. I don't know if you can see that one or not. One thing you want to remember about spawning bass is that they make their beds about five foot or less water. They prefer a rock bottom, or at least a hard bottom. And it's really hard to get them to bite during spawn. Um, the only thing you can do is drop that bait right on right there. There's a nest right there. Anyway, uh, drop that bait on there and just sit there and twitch it. Nine times out of ten, what a bass does is it just picks it up and sets it off its nest. And that's the part that you got to feel and set that hook. You boys having any luck back there? No? Huh? I don't think it's one. Is it not? I think you're hung up, son. Can I just go home? I dream of relics and gold. I search for riches untold. Adventures always close at hand I walk the fields and streets Find the treasures under my feet Discoveries across the land Let's get the metal detecting bug Let's get her dug